Welcome back po rito mga mahal na kapatid sa channel natin. Kamusta ka po? Kamusta po kayong lahat? Sana po ah, sa biyaya ng ating mahal na Panginoong Hesus na sa mabuting sitwasyon or kalagayan po tayong lahat ano. Uh, welcome back po rito sa channel natin. Maraming salamat po again sa pagsuporta at sa pagmamahal ninyo uh, sa channel natin ano. And for today's video po, uh, atin pong uh, mapanood o atin pong pag-usapan ang uh, uh, signs na ang isang tao po ay meron merong isang tinatawag na unhealed trauma. So ano ba itong trauma? So mga kapatid, ito po yung mga insidente kung saan uh, naka-experience po ta tayo sa ating buhay uh, as either emotional, uh, physical, psychological, and so on and so forth. ba diba, na nakaranas po tayo ng mga ganong mga sitwasyon. Ano? Like for example, uh, tayo po ay iniwanan ng ating mahal sa buhay, ng ating asawa, o ng ating uh, boyfriend o girlfriend, di ba? Pwede pong mag, pwede pong mag, ano, ma, pa, po, pwede po yon na maging rason na magkaroon po tayo ng trauma. Doon po sa mga, uh, mga kababaihan, parang kapag uh, sinaktan po sila ng kanilang mga boyfriend or asawa, parang ayaw na po nilang mag-asawa o magkaroon ng boyfriend. So po, pwede po yon So para po, maintindahan natin kung ano ba yung iba't ibang uh, klase ng trauma and of course, ano po ba yung dapat natin gawin para makalimutan o tuluyan po natin itong uh, hindi na hindi na talaga natin na uh, maisip you know? so guys panoorin po natin itong buong video po alam ko po makatulong po ito sa ating lahat ano uh, kung bago ka rito sa channel ko sana wag mong kalimutang mag like mag comment mag subscribe at paki-click na rin ang ating uh, uh, notification na uh, button nang sa ganun ay update ka kapatid kapag uh, may mga bago po tayong uploads di ba so maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat Sigurado po ako na makatulong po ito sa inyong lahat dahil tayo po ay tao ay talagang prone po tayo sa mga sa mga talagang mga sitwasyon na hindi natin inaasahan na po pwede pong magdulot sa atin ng trauma. Amoy God bless you all. Tara po umpisa na po natin ang panonood. According to Healthline a traumatic event is an incident that causes physical, emotional, spiritual, or psychological harm. Some traumas actually stay with you for a long time. But most of the time, what we desire above all is to put it all behind us. This is unlikely to happen if we keep going back to our triggers. Everyone deserves a chance at happiness, and trauma just won't let you. There are many ways to heal. You can share with your loved ones and family avoid alcohol and eat healthily and live in peaceful and serene environment. But if something were to happen, the trauma may, in some instances, come back. How then do we know if we have unhealed trauma? In today's video, I am going to share with you 9 signs you have unhealed trauma. If you are new here, consider subscribing to our channel for more awesome videos like this. 1. Low Self-Esteem Do you feel like you are vulnerable to everything? After a traumatic event, a lot of people can develop low self-esteem. Studies have shown that patients with PTSD can have very low self-esteem and also have feelings of worthlessness. You may have moved away from home or even quit your job to get away from it all. Sometimes, this doesn't work. The person you moved to get away from may still follow you to your new city or new job, so moving may not be the answer. Sometimes, you may not even know you still have this trauma until you get in contact with your trigger after many years. A way you can work on the trauma is by avoiding alcohol. You really shouldn't be drinking. Contrary to what you think, the bottle will only worsen things. Instead, try waking up early each day and exercise. If possible, get involved in a community where people have similar interests to yours. You will find that interacting with other people can do a lot of good. Get involved in projects too, if possible. When your mind is actively occupied with positive thoughts, you can seldom recall traumatic experiences. Try to think things through. Sometimes, the best answers are found through intentional reflection. Take note that it may take some time, but you will get there eventually. Try speaking to loved ones from time to time. Spend more time with people who care about you. Their encouragement and kind words can bring back your confidence. This is why people are constantly warned about keeping bad company. 2. Overplanning everything 
You can't plan your way out of trauma. Overplanning is actually a sign of trauma. People who overplan are usually those who have some trauma in the past related to failing as a result of poor planning. Too much planning, however, means that the person may end up not doing anything at all. Which is better, to plan excellently and not act, or to plan and act? Ideas are truly not worth much until they are executed. According to Harvard Business Review, sometimes overplanning your day-to-day -day activities can make you a neurotic, stressed-out person who feels like you would have been better off if you hadn't planned anything in the first place. Overplanning can actually lead to stress, which can make dealing with trauma more difficult. It is actually good to accept change and be spontaneous once in a while. You only get one life, right? Why spend it worrying? 3. Poor Concentration People who suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD may lack concentration on a daily basis. People who have PTSD may also have nightmares, panic attacks, and anger issues. War is a strong example of a traumatic event that causes PTSD. When soldiers return home after faithfully serving their country, they don't usually come back the same. They lose parts of themselves to war and come back with different perspectives. They may take to drinking. When they do, this can make their conditions worse. They need their loved ones more than ever. If you have someone like this at home, try to care for them. War can break anyone. Most of the time, the reason for fighting is not as important as you can think. There are actually a large number of people who have had traumatic experiences. According to Mental Health UK, one in three adults in the UK have experienced at least one traumatic event. The traumatic experience may be an accident, violent or abuse, natural disaster or serious illness. This list goes on. They are all unpleasant nonetheless. People who have had these experiences can go on for years without episodes. They may actually come to believe that a trauma is healed. But this is not always the case. Signs of your trauma may resurface when you come in contact with a trigger. A trigger is something that reminds you of the traumatic incident. It can be a song, a place, or an item of clothing. It is actually unfortunate because most people who suffer from these don't know their traumas are still there. If you're trying to deal with it, try doing things that are relaxing and generally avoiding things that you know are triggers until you have enough courage to confront them. 4. Hurting people around you People who are still susceptible to their trauma trigger may hurt those around them, although not intentionally. Trauma can involve a threat to life. This can make you distrust and push everyone away. The pain is real. You never really quite get used to it. The best thing to do is to try to do relaxing things. You are going to be better if you give yourself a shot. You deserve happiness and love just like everybody else. A lot of people are fortunate enough to have families that care about them. At least they keep trying. Some others are not so fortunate. You may not be doing these things on purpose. But think of your loved ones the next time you have an episode. Think about how they never left your side. You are loved. You are loved beyond anything you can imagine. Some of them would give their life to let you leave. Don't take it for granted. Make up your mind to be better for them, for you. You and your loved ones deserve a better you. 5. Strong Fear of Failure While everyone is scared of failure every once in a while, People who are still susceptible to trauma triggers have an intense fear that they will fail again. Emotional traumas where people are abused as children for failing to meet their parents' expectations are reasons that some people grow up having an unnatural fear of failure. If you feel nervous before a presentation, it's alright. Everyone is nervous sometimes. But if you never ever do anything because you are so scared, you are certain you will fail. There is a problem. There is perhaps no fast way of making trauma go away because it is something related to the mind. You have to grow into the understanding that it is all in the past and that you still have a life to live. Imagine never taking any chances as an adult. How far do you think you will go? If you never applied for the big role you didn't imagine you would qualify for, how then will you know if you will actually qualify or not? These traumas can make you frozen in mediocrity 
and when you think about it too much, it can actually make you depressed. 6. You feel sad and hopeless a lot. Again, feeling sad and hopeless is something people experience from time to time. But for people susceptible to trauma triggers, this is a numb. You cannot actually relieve a trauma unless it is triggered. Trauma may be caused by the death of a loved one. Grieving is the right way to deal with it. When you don't, you may end up having repressed feelings that are ultimately harmful to your mental health. Some people never truly recover even when they have tried grieving. Letting go of the people you love is not easy. 7. Withdrawing from others You may withdraw from others more often than usual. If you're not the type that likes to be alone, something may actually be wrong with you. One of the ways of dealing with trauma is interaction with other people. When you isolate, you ponder on your trauma and make it worse. Make it a point of duty to be around people more. One of the ways to do this is to volunteer. Talk to your loved ones. Get a job if this is possible. The more you are occupied with positive thoughts, the less you will be with such things. 8. You have trouble asking for help from others. Everyone needs help. Even the strongest humans are created in a way that makes them need each other for survival. You definitely need help every now and then. The trouble is, some people don't ask for help because of childhood trauma, where their parents refused them everything they asked for. This is perhaps one of the reasons children should be given a treat. They need to be given the things they want once in a while. If not, they may have only memories of being denied things. The sad part is that a lot of parents are unaware of this until it is too late. Ask for help if you need it. Think about the things you can achieve if you had more help instead of thinking about if the person would say yes or no. 9. Hypervigilance People who are relieving trauma can also become hypervigilant and distrustful. If you get this way, talk to your loved ones about it. A problem shared is half solved. It can go on and on and may lead to even more serious consequences if you are presently contemplating. Being vigilant on a good day is commendable, but being hyper-vigilant can lead to anxiety over nothing.